It's like that's why we'll throw little things out there like that just to see if they'll catch on to it and how many people catch on to it so people can see it. video with some of my favorite lipsticks for fall and winter they're mostly darker shades because I've really been into kind of a dark lip trend lately but I have a few higher-end products and a few drugstore products so I hope it helps with your decision on what lip products you want to be getting or some suggestions so keep watching so for my first and absolute favorite lip color it's actually a gift from my friend Taylor and um, it's the Mac satin lipstick in rebel well and it's just a nice kind of darker plum kind of pinky plum but it's very wearable and it was actually it's actually my first mac product i don't have any other mac products and i just got this a few um like a week ago and i love it so if you are considering buying a mac product i would definitely recommend buying this in this shade specifically because it's very versatile for any skin tone i believe so the finish is like it says, it's a satin finish, so it's semi-matte, not very glossy, but it's not really dry either, which is great. It's very long-lasting, like I can put it on and it'll last for hours, and even when I reapply, there's still be like a hint of color left. What I love about this lipstick is that it leaves a lip stain on your lips even after it's kind of faded, and the lip stain color it leaves is a super pretty, like darker pink, and um... Yeah, so even when it wears off, it really doesn't wear off. So I, that's why I love it. So I really think it is worth how much it costs. So like I said, if you are thinking about buying a MAC product, definitely try out Rebel. Next time you go to Nordstrom or whatever, uh, do a swatch because it's a really great shade. Next product is the Fresh Sugar Berry Tinted Lip Treatment with SPF 15. And I actually have the little mini one right here. Um, it came in a set of three with two other shades in the same line. I had the bigger one before, but I used all of it. That's how much I love it. The bigger one is about $22.50, so it is a little pricey. But the thing about this lip color is it's super pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. It's really soft texture. It's not like really a lipstick type of texture. It's more of, I guess, it's really like mushy. So you gotta be careful with that. So it's very customizable too because it, it like a little bit goes a long way if you want a little hint of color just putting a little bit on and kind of um one like that with your lips will be good enough or if you want a darker shade just put on a little bit more and the ingredients in here are unlike most lipsticks they're very healthy nourishing ingredients there's sugar like it says sugar lip treatment which is super good for your lips um, it also has a black currant seed oils, which is a natural ingredient that just moisturizes your lips and any dry spots will, you know, add a, that little bit of moisturization to it. And like I said before, it has the SPF kind of portion to it, which is also very good for your lips. You want to make sure that not only do you put SPF on your skin, but also your lips because your lips are, you know, um, prone to the damage from UV rays in the sun. And as I said before, the texture is very soft. One downside to this is it's very easy to mush or smush it. Um, like if you don't twist it all the way down after you use it before you put it back in its lid, that'll definitely be a problem, even if it's just a little bit. What happened to me a couple times now is I'll just put it in like that, not really thinking about it, and the product will be everywhere, which you don't want because you want to use as much as you can. So um, definitely pay attention to that. And this is more of a lip balm, I'd say, than really a lipstick. But the color payoff is it's like a lipstick. So if you're looking for that kind of um, you know idea, definitely recommend this too. So those were my higher end products. I usually don't buy very expensive makeup, but I do believe those products are really worth their money with the ingredients that they're in or the way they go on and how, how long they last. So. Now on to the cheaper, more affordable end are some drugstore products I use. These here are the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Lipsticks. I got in two different shades. I went to the drugstore looking for a plum shade and a dark red and I found these two here. It took me a while but I came across these and I wanted to try them and I'm really glad I did. So the first one here is Persistent Plum. It's a darker plum shade but it's very wearable. It's not super purple. It's kind of a actually more 
of a reddish plum. They go on very smoothly. They kind of have the same texture as the MAC. A, it's kind of a satiny finish, but it's a little bit more, I'd say, matte than the MAC one. And because it is a little bit more dry, I do suggest wearing a lip balm, putting on a lip balm before you put on this lipstick, just so it goes on a little bit more even. Um, it's also one of the things about this is it, it is a lipstick, it's not a lip balm. So you have to have like a mirror or be really good at putting on lipstick because you want to make sure that you get an even coverage because it's very easy to have, you know, um, miss the edges of your lip or put on too much on one side. So you want to make sure that you be careful of that. that but the thing about this line, the L'Oreal Infallible line is, like specifically, is that it has a wide variety of shades. There's 30 different shades varying from nudes to plums to, berry, to berries to different red shades. So it's definitely a good line if you're looking into buying some drugstore lipsticks. If you want to check out the colors there. Know that this does after a couple hours fade, but the way it fades is it doesn't leave like a lip stain. It kind of is uneven actually. It tends to kind of cake around the edges of your lips and then fade towards the middle, so it's really uneven. But you can fix that by reapplying more often or just applying a lip balm and to kind of you know even it out, apply that lip balm so that way your lips are always moisturized because it happens after your dries after your lips tend to dry up after a couple hours. But overall it's very pigmented. Like I said, there's a range of a great range of colors. So if you are looking for a more affordable lipstick, this is about ten dollars. It's a little bit pricey for a drugstore lipstick, but definitely worth it, I believe. So, I have these two here, and they're just two different shades, but the same idea with what I just said. And lastly, I have the Baby Lips. I have this one here, and then I have one from the newer line that Baby Lips Maybelline had just released. It's the Dr. Rescue. So the first one I'll talk about is this one here. It's in the shade Cherry Me. This is actually my second tube. I featured this in my, I believe it was October, yeah, October favorite, and it has always been my go-to color. It's it's more of a lip balm than it is a lipstick, so it's super you know convenient to just swipe on and leave. You don't have to pay attention to how much you put on or like where you put it on the way. I said before with lipsticks, you have to. So here I have the Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in the shade. Soothing Sorbet and it's a little less sheer than Cherry Me. Cherry Me is kind of a waxy texture and this here isn't as waxy. I'd say it is, like I said, not quite a lipstick pigment color payoff but it does have a little hint of color for if you want that. Um, the strange thing about this is it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub if you know what that smells like. So if smells, you know, bother you or you pay attention to smells um, just know that if not, it's not a big, huge, noticeable smell. I just notice it when I like put it on, but after that, you don't smell like when you're wearing it or anything like that. But yeah, overall, very, very affordable. So I kind of went from most expensive to least, you know, as you go down that um, range of price, there is a couple of things that you don't have in, in the more affordable category than the higher um, price category, but because of that, you know. In the end, you have to trade off a couple pros for the price. But yeah, so basically these are pretty much my go-to colors this past season and probably throughout the rest of this winter. So I hope to help in whether you're making a decision to buy and try your own lipsticks out or just to watch, I guess. So yeah, I hope it helped and thanks for watching. Bye. Products, some high hand, high hand, some high hand. <laughs> So that I've had for do a quick video. Why do I always say quick? It's not really gonna be quick. I'm yours. So I hope it helps. <laughs> I can't remember. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a video on some favorites for Philips. The lipstick, yeah, the darker lip colors for the season. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't really have any like nudes or anything. I don't have any nudes. That's weird. <laughs>